In response to her ex-husband Jay Cutler's DUI arrest, Kristen Cavallari spoke out. The 37-year-old reality star discussed the news of her 41-year-old ex-husband's arrest last Thursday on Tuesday's Let's Be Honest podcast. The fashion designer informed her audience, I wanted to hop on here and just let you guys know that this episode was recorded right before a very public incident that happened last week with my ex-husband. Just keep that in mind as you're listening. I will not be commenting on what happened, she added. The mother of three said, I do, of course. Wish Jay nothing but the best and I do hope that he gets the help that he needs. But that's the only thing I will be saying about it publicly. Before divorcing in 2022, Cavallari and the former NFL quarterback were wed from 2013 to 2022. Two years later, the couple formalized their divorce. The former professional athlete and graduate of Very Cavallari has a daughter named Sailor, age 8, and two sons, Camden, age 12, and Jackson, age 10. Cavallari was frustrated and disappointed by Cutler's arrest for DUI and weapons possession, according to a source last week. According to a police complaint, the NFL player was pulled over on Thursday in Tennessee and accused of driving while intoxicated while carrying two firearms, including a loaded revolver. Later that day, Cutler posted a $5,000 bond and was released from Williamson County Jail. Cutler always marches to the beat of his own drum, according to a source, who also said that Kristen has been on good terms with him, but this is just disappointing. They said, she will discuss it on her podcast, but she views it as a black eye and despises having to be there and answer for it now. Cutler is always going to do what he wants to do. The insider continued, implying that this was a big factor in the breakdown of their marriage. That won't change, which was a major factor in their initial breakup. They continued, according to an insider, Cavallari didn't anticipate this happening because she had assumed her ex-husband was, for the most part, okay. Now that it's over, they're going to talk about where his head is at, whether he needs help, or whether this was just a bad incident. They clarified. They remarked, She is glad that no one has been harmed or worse, but it is just annoying that she has to put up with Jay's problems. There is no scenario where this should have happened in Kristen's perspective, but now that it has, they will deal with it and she can only hope for the best. But it isn't a good look at all, the person went on. There is no scenario where this should have happened in Kristen's perspective, but now that it has, they will deal with it and she can only hope for the best, but it isn't a good look at all, the person went on. Cutler, who played in the NFL for 12 seasons, he was the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears much of the time, apparently hasn't had the post-football career he had hoped for. He would do it in a heartbeat if he could still play, the person asserted. However, he is stuck in his ways and is only in his early 40s. He would like to coach or commentate and return to the NFL, but that is not in the cards right now, and this recent DUI incident doesn't help him, they noted. He hopes it goes away as quickly as it has presented itself, but he is upset that it has reached this point. Kristen made a suggestion earlier this month that she now has more custody of her three kids following the divorce. The pair first decided to divide custody every other week back in 2020. On Monday, Kristen disclosed on her Dear Media podcast, let's be honest that that's changed in the last year. Right now, my life is all about my kids and my job, and I couldn't be happier or more fulfilled. Making my house precisely how I want it is what brings me serenity, which is what I consider happiness.